I will be discussing on the 8th and 9th of Rabiul Awal. Um, it is popularly known that the month of Rabiul Awal is the month in which um, the Prophet, which is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam, was born. It is a great month and it is a month of honor, giving forgiveness and many other things. Um, but inshallah, today I'm only going to talk based on the 8th and 9th. And on the 8th of Rabiul Awal, Imam Hassan al Askari departed life, and also his son, the patron of age, and also his son, Imam Mahdi Ajalallahu Sharif, was appointed as the 12th Imama. And it is thus appropriate to, be, to visit both of them on this day. And so, also on the 9th of Rabiul Awal, is also known as a feast day, which is Eid al Bakr. The, um, the 9th of Rabiul Awal is known as the Eid al Bakr which is the feast day and the details are so lengthy therefore we are going to omit them and they may be investigated in other books and it has been also narrated that to give alms on this day brings about forgiveness of sins and it has also been said that it is recommended on this day to offer food to pleasant ones and also confer open one's family with gifts new clothes and also all that they need and also um, praise and thank Almighty Allah and also practice act of washing with Him. And also this day, this day which is a holy day, it is a day of removing sorrow and also grievances. And so also as the past day which is the day of the martyrdom of Imam Hassan al-Askari. And the ninth of Rabiul Awal is thus the first day in the Imamate of um, Imam Mahdi Ajalalahu Ta'ala Farjahu Sharif. Um, this is also an additional point of happiness in this day. And inshallah, we will be stopping here for today. And next time, we will be discussing on the other day of this holy month of Rabiul Awal. I still remain Zainab, a sister in Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.